Good day, good day! <laughs> How the heck are you? Welcome to Roverland. Yeah, we got a little something different for you today. Thank you for joining me. I'm your friend Dano. How the hunk are ya? Hey, are you keeping calm and carrying on? I hope so, my friend. Yeah. So let's see what I got going on today. Well, uh, I have a video uh, of the uh, opening of this uh, package. Uh, if you want to check it out on a playlist, I don't know if I can get it up there or whatnot. Uh, but anyway. We are going to be talking a little bit about industry and supply company out of the UK. Yeah, Neil Bannister is the guy over there. Yeah, I would say he's a friend of mine. <laughs> Not like Jeremiah the Bullfrog, but uh, yeah, he's a friend of mine. I hope you guys got that reference. Anyway, yeah, so uh, a while back, uh, well, almost a year now, uh, I got a hold of Neil and asked him to send me some stuff, and he did. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff he does. Uh, he's been in the industry for quite a while. About a year ago, he opened up a brick and mortar store. And uh, yeah, just uh, doing well. Of course, uh, right now during the quarantine, uh, COVID-19, things are a little bit slow, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, go check him out. Well, anyway, last uh, year, I got these stickers here. Here's a Series 3. I had... Uh, an XMOD like this. Yeah, very, very nice. Uh, series 1 sticker. Nice, nice. Like that one. And then a Series 2 with the eggs on the grill. I had a Series 2A 1969. Mine were on the headlights there, uh, recessed. Not the bug-eyed. But uh, nice, kind of kind of along that line of colors. Uh, very, very nice. But anyway... So yeah, uh, this is kind of one of his uh, regular, that's kind of the look of his store there on Church Street. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Neil's a pretty cool guy. Well, just recently, uh, if you don't, uh, I'm not a follower of his, go over to Facebook. You just type in, uh, I think, Industry and Supply. It's been so long since I've done it. But uh, he did a promotion, free sticker, just pay for sto uh, postage. And so I did that. And uh, thank you very much, Neil. I'm pretty sure that he knows that I'm going to be doing a, <laughs> a video on that. He just does a very nice job of uh, packaging and uh, sending stuff out. Just a very class act. And, and I'm all about promoting people that do craftsmanship in the nice way. And I, I just love it. So let's just take a see what I got from Neil here. Uh, and the nice thing is, too, look at this. The nice personal touch. Yeah, just really great. Now, he doesn't do just solely uh, Land Rover stuff. He does do vintage Hot Wheels, and, or vintage Hot Rods, motorcycles, and race cars, and stuff like that. But uh, very, very cool. Thank you very much, Neil. Yeah. And uh, so then let's take a look and see what the stickers I got from him. Look at this nice packaging. I just love it. Just, just uh, screams quality. Really kind of cool. I really like this. And uh, I've got to put together another package and uh, get it sent over. I know it's kind of, the shipping and stuff is kind of boogered up right now. Uh, so, yeah, I probably should do it now so I'll get it by the end of summer, right? All right. Here we go. Look at this beauty. Oh, I'd love to have a two-door Range Rover. Uh, just love. That's one of my goals is to get a hold of a two-door Range Rover. It'd have to be a left hooker though. I can't I can't do the right hooker. <laughs> Here's one, uh, Defender. Yeah. Isn't that like the heritage uh, version? Yeah, well it's got the old Huey uh, license plate on there, kind of throwback. Nice. There's his uh, goods and apparel, industry supply. That's kind of his uh, logo there. Very kind of cool. And then who doesn't like a second gen Range Rover. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having one of those either, right? All right. All right, here we go. Well, this is kind of old timing, kind of the other stuff. This is not the shot of a shop, but just an old gas station. Since 1963, he's been monkeying around. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. And then here you go. There you go. Go on over there and check this guy out. Neil is his name. If you drop uh a uh, hello from, uh, you know, Roverland Group. That's all right. I'm sure he uh, would appreciate knowing where uh, customers are coming to him. 
Uh, so yeah, check it out. That now there's a more repre uh, closer representation of what his shop looks like there in the UK on Church Street. All right. Well, talking about that, uh, I found some more of my uh, Land Rover collectible stuffs, and uh, yeah, I'm, you know, and I don't really remember where I got these from, uh, but they're cards, and I, I've got them in a, a three-ring binder thing, and, and this is, I think, like baseball cards or whatever can go in these, but I really like them because you can flip them over and read them, you know, you don't have to touch them or anything like that you can just go ahead and read them and they just kind of give you a little ditty of uh what it is and then on the back side you flip it over and you can uh read about more of uh the details i really like that. i'm gonna be i'm gonna make a die cast model of this someday yes sir i am uh, though the, i like to do the wood wood grain version too so yeah, pretty kind of cool. I don't know if you guys have uh, gotten, I'm sure some of you guys have this. I mean, I've had this for quite a few years, but uh, very, very cool. It gives you a lot of the information, uh, the specs on this, and uh, just a very, very good uh, reference guide. But I don't want to, I don't want to put these on, uh, you know, you know, frame them. Because if you frame them, then you can't read the back side. And it's just so nice to be able to uh, do a little bit of research on the real models. And these are all hand, uh, hand, uh, yeah, here, see, now this is a different series. Yeah, see, they go by uh, years. I don't know if you noticed that. But there's the uh, first years and then the second year. So, yeah, really kind of cool. I had a friend in Wisconsin that had a lightweight like that. I wonder whatever he did with that big old V8 in it. And another friend, he had uh, not that early of uh, forward control. He had a friend had a uh, forward control. I think that was an XMOD too. Well, pretty much they all were because <laughs> that's what they were built for. All right, here we go. Here's uh, Series 3, 71 to 85. Yep, there you go. Very, very nice. Very nice. So if you, yeah, do you guys got any of this kind of stuff? Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below, um, you know, if you ever uh, came across this kind of stuff. I I don't remember where, like I say, I don't remember where I really picked these up at, but uh, very, very kind of cool. I like, uh, I like this. And like I say, it's just kind of cool. You know to have a kind of a quick reference I need to keep this out so um, you know I can uh, look at it more more you know but uh, really kind of cool the last sheet here is uh, the uh, Range Rovers yeah yeah a series of collect six collector cards yeah the Range Rover 4x4 yeah I'd really like to have that uh, a two-door of that bugger. I did have a Range Rover one time, but it was a parts car. I bought it at a junkyard and sold off the parts. Yeah, that was uh, that was a different uh, <laughs> adventure. Oh, I like that one though. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, cool. There we go. The Vogue. There it is. Yeah. All right. There we go. Well, Dave, if you guys. Uh, can uh, tell me where I got these from. That would be awesome. Let's look at the back real quick here. We got a little bit of time. Just a quick uh, little Land Rover collectibles today. And just to kind of see what's going on. You can kind of freeze those and uh, just uh, gander at them at your leisure. But uh, yeah, really kind of cool. I like that. I like that. Yeah. All right, well, there we go. We're going to call it a video. Thanks for uh, joining me today on a Friday. Make sure you go over to check Neil out. That would be awesome. He, he's a good guy and uh, really uh, deserves some of our support and uh, really kind of cool. I like, I like that. All right, go over to, uh, well, first off, while you're here, give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and uh, share. Oh, I think sharing is this way. Uh, but <laughs> anyway, uh, go over to Facebook, 
at Roverland. And uh, join the group over there on Facebook, Roverland. And, uh, yeah, you can share that posting and stuff, too. Also, I'm on Instagram at Roverland Channel. Check it out over there. Join up over there, too. Follow me there. And, uh, yeah, there you go. We're going to call it a video. Thanks for joining me today. And, as always, slow traffic, keep right. Have a great rover day.